Hello everyone, welcome back to Space Astronomy 2. My name is Frostnail and uh, today I thought we could work on some S and C stuff and uh, maybe we'll do something more, I'm not really sure. We'll see how long this will take. <laughs> so let's go. Alright, so what we need to do is to mine down like three, three blocks basically underneath the farm. Uh, I've started a little already. Um, but we also need to cover up the water. This is a water block right here. Because uh, otherwise it's gonna, you know, flood. <laughs> so we don't want that. I'm just gonna um, mine this away and I'll uh, I'll speed it up in editing. This, uh, this might take some time. So we are gonna make a block called it's called growth. So we need stone, and I think it's just normal stone, right? or just chiseled stone. How do we make that? I don't think it's needed. I think you can just go with bricks or any type of stone. And then we need the infernum, which is basically just the entire essence, only essence. I feel like we have quite a lot of that, so it shouldn't really be a problem. So let's head up and um, the cosset diamond as well. So that's my a little bit, a little bit worried about uh, thingy, but I think we have some diamonds already, so it shouldn't be a problem, but I don't think we have enough to make the entire thing. I'm just gonna swoop everything in here for now. Maybe I can take my helmet back and this, we sort that up later. Um, also, I was looking at that for that sapling, that dark oak sapling, right? Uh, I got that from the lucky block we opened towards the end, so <laughs> that's kind of funny. Um, all right, so we need uh, essence. We have some essence down here. Takes forever to um, to fix this, but it's fine. Because what this block do is that it speeds it up. It's like bone meal, so. It's, uh, it's gonna make it so much faster and it stacks as well. So we can actually put them like beneath each other, like a row like this. So that is pretty cool. But we're just gonna start off by just do one layer and maybe we'll make several for these. That could be a little bit more important. Um, but I guess this is most important at the moment because we need to farm a lot of this to be able to craft speeder the uh, up speeder thing like this so we're just gonna split this i guess there we go we get five then we need diamonds and i think normal stone otherwise we got to figure out how to chisel our stone so we can make it but we could try with normal stone first Otherwise, I'm pretty sure you'd just make one of those tools where you can just right click on it and that becomes it. Um, I was thinking about cooked stone, like normal stone stone. Let's try with those and I want to try with these. Yes, and if that doesn't work, we can make a chisel. However you make that, I'm sure we can do it though. Ah, I forgot something. We need diamonds as well. Let's go up again. 48. Not bad. So we can make 48 blocks. But we only need a lot more essence then. Make more of these cubes. Alright, let's first try with these. Nope. And we try with normal stone. That worked. Awesome. And we got a few of those. We got five of those. Actually, before we place them, you know what? Let's uh, clean this farm up. We can get all these essence and make more cubes out of it. 
And the stone, it shouldn't be that hard for us to get, considering we have a lot of cobblestone and we have like made it into like stacked ones. So we have a lot of uh, cobblestone if if it's needed. And there we go. Let's see how many we can make. That is quite a lot of them. We put these two together and we do that again. All right, so let's split this. That's quite a lot of them. I think we might need to start making more stone though. We got 14, awesome. So I guess we start with this row. The thing is you don't need to place them, well, it, you can if you want to, but it doesn't do anything. You can place them underneath the water as well, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna affect anything. So let's do this, let's start over here. I don't think any mobs will spawn underneath here if we were to stack it later on as well. Let's place some torches here. It would be kind of sad if we <laughs> all of a sudden get like zombies in our farmland or like creepers or something. That would be very sad. All right, so that's that. And apparently that's supposed to speed it up quite a lot or uh, to a percentage at least. Um, so we need to prepare with more stone. Maybe we want to consider it to get a little chest. I was about to take that chest over there, but I know that we have other stuff in there. It could be useful for another project. We could actually, while we are upstairs, we can grab these. As we got from the lucky block in the last episode. And we plant them somewhere. I think the farm looks really cool now as well. Look at that. If we ever need seeds of wheat, we have that here. And then we got the farm over here that is almost full. And I have seen when I've been looking at this panel that there are way more vegetables and other things and other plants that we can plant. So maybe we want to extend this. Maybe not today, but uh, at some point we could do that. Just like not super much, but at a percentage because I don't really know how to get those things anyway. So. It's probably gonna take some time until we find them anyway. There's the cow farm, and we got the sheeps over there. And the lucky block place is over there, not where the flower is, but uh, sort of in that direction at least. Um, and in the end of this episode, we're gonna open three lucky blocks. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happened then. All right, so I guess we can plant these here. It needs to be four. So we'll do that like this. We can grab bone meal if we want to, but we are not in a desperate need of it at the moment anyway, so there's no need to do that. Can be there. You know what? Let's plant everything. We got a jungle. Got some oak. Some of it. We got some of those, and then we got the rich one and the spruce. I think we have a lot of spruce already though, right? Because we are our house is basically made of most of it. Jungle would be nice to have. I guess we make a large tree here then and we can, I don't know if large spruce, yeah, large spruce exists in this version, yeah, we already tried that. All right, and then we got these. So we just plant them random like this. Then we got these and these are the same. And the oak, we can go and walk over there, I guess, or we can eat some food first. The reason why this random chest is here, by the way, is because we had our lucky farm like right over here somewhere. But I realized it was pretty close to the house and uh, in case we get something super duper bad, it would be kind of sad to lose the entire house from it. So yeah, let's just remove this. We can use that as chest for the lucky block. Yeah, not the lucky block, but you know what I mean? The thing that we're working on right now, the essence stuff. So we got rid of all of those. Now we can head back in. And we can prepare some stone. Now we know what we need. Now we can make more of it. 
we could make one of those out of fur furnace kind of things, but I'm not really sure where we want it. Like it would work here. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the, I know it's like way better. The one that has a cart with the redstone and rails and stuff, and it can like go to different places different furnaces and so on but I prefer the other one that has like two and then you put some uppers in the back and like a chest above and a chest down here and like a chest under I like that one more than uh, that large thing um, so we might want to do that and that could save us some time but the thing is we're not really using the forge or the furnaces that much we're more like using the smell theory for everything, right? So, I don't know if it's really worth it um, to make one of those. Maybe we want another workbench, because then we can have that recipe on there. And then we can have another workbench with the essence stuff. Yeah, this is already growing beyond faster than that. <laughs> That's cool. It's cool to see that huge difference. I think the only problem will be for us, it's not the stone, and it's not the essence, it will be the diamonds. So I wonder if we can make a diamond seed. Let's do that, and then we swoop that like this. Now we got a workbench. An extra one. There we go. Here we can put essence. Or we can take those essence and prepare those here. I wonder though, I'm gonna see if you can pick those up. If you can pick these up, that would be funny. I'm gonna see if we can make like one, if we can make 100%, we can just, you know, like hold the right button down and just uh, get tons of it in no time. I'm just curious, because I know that they can stack. It should be quite fast. Let's do one more use for the logs. Some iron underneath there too. Not sure like how how large the percentage difference is, but I guess we will find out. We almost got another one. Wait a minute. Oh, we can place them in the missing areas here. And then it will be the entire thing. And that's so cool. Let's see. Okay, so what if we do essence? Uh, we would like... And we would like the diamond essence. How do we make it? We need red essence. Hmm. I wonder, do we have, it's already on 86, it's the same as this one. It would be funny if it was like instant. Let's see if we can uh, like use all of them on it or something. Let's, we'll see what happens. I, w I wanna see if it works. Cause if it works, I, I'm thinking about maybe, cause on, on um, what is it called again? Uh, Sky Factory or yeah, Sky Factory, yeah. Uh, there is a uh, machine that you can make that makes like auto clicks for you, like right clicking. So like if you have one of those sieves or whatever those are called, you can uh, make them like do that for you. But if that works here, we can like place them on a plant and then put like a vacuum hopper or something. Um, ouch! Oh. Oh, wait, what? This goes here? <laughs> oh, I did not know that. All right, let's see. Uh, where are we? There. Can reach this. Not sure if we can place a block there though. It's a little bit far up. Now we know where it goes at least. That's cool. All right, time to go up again then, I guess. 
Well, I'm glad we landed here, not in like a random area where we we're not sure where we are located at. And this is the way to the mob farm as well. So, all right, let's see how this looks and how this work. I suppose you can just use the, the miner to remove them all as well. So it's not the end of the world, and I did. They don't seem to take that much to break anyway, so should be good. It seems like we have some sort of fog at the moment. Oh, it is faster. Oh, that's so cool. I don't know how much faster it is, but it is faster for sure. It went from the level one state to level two, three already. So I guess a few more blocks then, then it should be like instant. That would be kind of funny though. <laughs> But I wonder what that machine was called, though. See so if we can find it. I do remember how it looks like, though. Nope. I've gone through the list now. I haven't seen anything that is it like it. Oh, wow. We just skipped a step already. We skipped two steps already. That went so quick. Oh. So we are really close to... If we can figure out how many blocks we've been placing on that pillar, that'd be funny. I'm sure there exists something that is similar to that uh, clicking machine, though. Um, I also saw some, uh, so seen some recipes that you could do with this essence. So we should not use the fertilizer right away, because there might be some stuff that we can use that for later on. So let's leave that for now. Yeah, it's definitely quicker. That is for sure. So we need. A few more, that's for sure. All right, let's head down, let, you know, let's head down to our mob farm. And we'll see if there's any uh, new stuff down there. What is this? Oh. Moonstone. Okay. We got a moonstone. Um, it doesn't seem like this thing over here works. This. The load chunk loader. I'm not really sure why. Like, it looks basically. I think these things are sort of new, I suppose. Let's take them. Oh no, we got full inventory. But it seems like it works though. You can hear the zombies. So. Alright, let's head up. I'm sure there's a better way to make it more efficient as well. I wonder if there's an auto. Maybe out the farmer. So it's an out out the breaker here, maybe. Automatic precision dropper. Hmm. What if we place two of these? Or like these two facing the same plant? And then the vacuum thing can be on top of that plant. Because I don't think they, I don't think it will right click, it would just break it like this. But, and then the other thing is like planting it. But that should not affect the blocks underneath, I don't think. Or maybe it does, no it does not. <laughs> that went so quick. What is this? So cobblestone, void crystal, void crystal block. That doesn't really tell me much. Now when I think about it, wasn't there a, wasn't there a biome called the void in this mod pack? How do we make a portal to the void? That doesn't sound safe at all but it would be cool to visit maybe all right so let's see we got mr potter and we got mr potter <laughs> the same box so we got a double but we don't own mr potter in uh, box farm so i guess we can just put mr potter up here and we place potter down here and then we got Alex and Tracer. 
Do we have Tracer? We do not have Tracer, so we, I guess Tracer can go up next to Potter over here. The question is, do we have Alex in our little collection down here? It does not seem like it. Let's put Alex here. So, we need to find Void, so maybe we should uh, consider checking that out now, maybe? We can't really do anything else except cooking stone, I guess, or cobblestone for stone um, to prepare for those blocks. But the idea would be to at least make it so that we can have uh, a one block underneath each, but it would be very funny if we can afford placing so they are instant or make that automatic thing that makes it for us. That would also be really useful. Because um, then we don't need to worry about it. It can just be down there doing its thing while we're doing other things, you know. So I think that would be the best idea. And then we can make the those speed cubes underneath them like more valuable items like diamonds and, and so on. Uh, but let's uh, first check if we have the materials, but I don't think we do. No, I don't think I've ever owned a red uh, essence before. So we can do one now, I used to have one if we want to. <laughs> let's do that just first, so we can check that off that we have, we have done that. Here we go. There it is. It looks really cool though. We need a lot of that. And we need seeds of that too, so that means that we need even more of it. So that's also an ideal, that's why we need more essence as well, so... If we can make it fully automatic, that would be amazing. I also left this on, I'm not really sure if it's still on. I do get a little bit of lag spikes here and there, yeah, it's still going on. So we can uh, throw these in here, and that will fix that for us. I'm sure there's better ways to do this. I just found this way really funny. All right, let's put the stone into the chest or we can actually make sure that it's full. Nope. Then we do that. Fill this up right away so we don't need to worry about these. And then for the rest of them, we can place them in here. All right, is this connected? No, okay. Take these two. There we got another block. Throw that in there. Let's see if we can look for that book first, the mission book, and see what it's what's called. But I'm pretty sure it was something with the void. Void something. Sort of feels like I will walk into trap urinal. I don't think that's it. This should be it. All right. Deep dark, could this be the void, maybe? I feel like that that should be the void, or maybe... What if we search on void? Ooh, okay, that looks cool. It's like purple. Maybe it's not in there. Void stone. Huh. No clue. This could be a planet as well. Hmm. But it would be kind of rip if it's a planet and you can only go there, like sort of like later, but then you can't get those things until you have actually got to that planet. It could be. Let's see what uh, we need for the deep dark thing as well. So this deep dark portal, ooh, compressed, ender pearl, what? We can make it now, maybe, wait, let's remove that so we can see what we're doing. We need this, is it uh, a nine? No, well, what? I'm pretty sure you made this out of this, or no, am I? Uh, Am I wrong here? Maybe you can't do anything with that. Cook it. Let's try cooking it. Um, otherwise, we gotta try to find endermans. It's gonna be our new goal, I guess. 
feel like we should have ender stuff though. For a pet, we must must have it. Yes, we do. Four, no, nine. Okay. And we only need four, right? For that block. Pretty sure you could do something with the ender dust, but I don't remember what it is. Uh, we also have the ender lily, uh, which should be here somewhere. I don't really, there it is. But to plant that, we need to end stone. So that's not the easiest thing to get, unless we get very, very lucky with, uh, with uh, the lucky blocks. Because they might contain one of them. So let's see if we can make anything else out of this. Teleportation staff. That sounds really fun. I uh, don't know what this is. This could, could be a part of something. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, whoops. Let's try again. Nope. Uh, and the pearls and the deep dark portal. So double compressed cobblestone. We got two. <laughs> so we need to get cobblestone. I didn't think I would ever say that. Yep, we need cobblestone. Usually when I go on mine, I usually throw it into the trash can of this thing right here. Because it's just, you get so much and it's not really needed for anything. <laughs> Which is unfortunate in this scenario. But now we got the, now we got this now. From the mine, the mining that we just did. So... There we go. Will this be enough? This will be double compressed, yes. It is enough, I think. And then we do a little swoop, and then we place it in the middle. Ooh. Let's hope you need one and not all of them. Oh no, maybe this is just like the ender portal. Or not the end portal. Well, that has also a little more, but the nether portal. Mm. It sort of looks like a block you can walk on, though. Because it looks like a void, sort of. We can try that first. We, I got a feeling that we, we will die, but at least we have tried it. <laughs> Let's uh, bring out our stuff though. Uh, this, I don't know if there's anything bad in there, so. But just in case, we got a pickaxe ready, we got our home pet. I feel like that's like the most needed thing ever in any scenario for us. Yeah, did you see that looks like a little twirl, like a fall into the dark abyss kind of thingy? So. Do we have a middle piece? We do have a middle piece. So what if we place this? But this we want to sort of, I feel like for this we want to go down because it's called like dark deep or something, right? So what if we make it here? And then we'll make, we take like, maybe there's some spooky blocks or something in this. We can make a staircase go down to this. Teleporter says on it. Oh, okay, it's that you can stand on it. Okay, I saw that scary stuff. Can you just walk on it? Let's remove those. No, you have to stand on it. Okay. That is scary. Uh, I was thinking about maybe like we can make it go down to this and then we can make some cool like sort of like corruption uh, looking crystals or something. I don't know what's in there, so I don't know what to expect but we can like form it as it looks like in it if it's like completely oh no wait it's got deep dark right let's prepare ourselves maybe we shouldn't have the book with us <laughs> i don't know if there's a way to craft this you can craft it okay all right we go let's do this oh it's getting spooky Oh, whoa, where well, we are in a uh, 
room with a bug light system. Interesting. Oh, let's remove those boots. They are really annoying. Okay, well, this is definitely a safer location, but if I look at the map, that is scary. Is this just a mining biome? There's other cobblestone here. What? There's a cobblestone in the, the walls. Okay. Interesting. Should we mine up, maybe? Is that what they want? I can't. <laughs> look, at, look at the map. It looks like it's just nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. Should we turn here, maybe? Go like staircase wise, like we did in the other one. I don't want to use V minor in case there's uh, stuff that we don't want to encounter in this place. I, I feel like there could be other mobs here, as an example. Thought I heard something for a second there. Might just have been uh, something uh, like the other locations, like rocks falling or something. So far, no other materials or so. And no update on the map either. I thought it was an ore for a second, it was more cobblestone. Biome seems to go on for a while. He said that we exit the cave thing there for a second, I think. Like he said that we were in a cave on the map. It's called the Deep Dark, though. Right? I mean, we can check it off now, I guess, but I. I I'm a little bit confused on, what does it say more? The mining world we've been there. But I'm a little bit confused on like, what is this world? It's a very interesting title to be an entire mine thing. It feels like we're in the mining world again. <laughs> it doesn't go anywhere. Our pickaxe is soon broke as well. Oh, well, that is where it ends, apparently. Well, let's dig uh, forward then. Or maybe we were just digging in the wrong direction. Maybe we are digging into a mountain or something. So far we can see that there's no, no ores or anything, only cobblestone. What about downwards? No, let's go forward first. Looks like we spawn into a mountain or something. I'm confused. What is this biome? All right then, let's make it go down then. Or does it mean that it's like an infinity? I don't really get it. Let's go down here then. called deep dark though do we do a spiral here too or do we want to do a 
lot of cobblestone now. Since there's a cave appearing on the map all the time. Well, I guess we can make the deep dark to be cobblestone. So that's basically what it is. Now it's basically only cobblestone. This is where we want those boots, by the way. It's super useful in this scenario, I guess. Let's keep on digging until we get all the way down. I suppose I can uh, edit it away as well. I think that I will do that with the other one as well. I think I already done that. <laughs> Just that takes some time. And as well, if you know what the biome is for, or like what the, the void, or not the void, but the deep dark is, then uh, if I don't find it, you can always let me know in the comments or on Discord or on, or on Twitch or something. Because uh, so far I have no clue. <laughs> Keeps on popping up that we're entering a cave though, which is interesting. Oh! Um, uh, um, what is down there? How far up are we? Well, I guess we found out right after. I, th I think I kind of jinxed it, didn't I? <laughs> I think we just found out what it was. All right. We are very far up, by the way. Wow. Uh, okay. That is extremely spooky. All right, let's keep on going down then. Thanks to these pillars. This feels like a perfect location for like a dragon or something to live. Oh, this is spooky. What is that? There is something in the distance. I don't know if you can see that. What is that? There is stuff in the bottom as well. There is something there. I guess what we can do is that we make some sort of pattern down. Thanks to these things, otherwise we can't. Or we can go all the way to one of those gigantic things. And make a path around it, maybe, if that's safer. Shall we do that? I feel like this is a perfect place for a dragon. <laughs> we are so far up. Is that closer? That is cobblestone, by the way. I just want to light this place up just in case, because I don't know what lurks in the depths below. As, as further down we get, the more we will see, I believe. I'm just doing this because it feels a little bit more safer, honestly. Cobblestone. I see something blue glowing down there. Could be water, but doesn't really feel like it should be water here. It could be another block, perhaps. We are now on the pillar. What if we mine into this? Is there just cobblestone dust? We can make a stairway down on it. I don't think I will use this to get back though. I think I will use the teleportation uh, pet for it. But uh, this is definitely a way safer way down. We could also make a water drop, but I don't know how safe that is. Trying to see, that is something. It looks like a block or something. There's a torch there. 
doesn't really light up that much for us. Um, I don't know what we are looking at either. Like, there could be monsters down there. There are monsters down there. I see a creeper already. There. Alright then, we'll put this off and we'll make a turn. But it feels like for the open space that uh, exists there, it feels like that's like... It feels like a perfect location for a dragon spawn, to be honest. Or any other creature. I don't really know what the mod has for creatures, honestly. Um... That looks like more cobblestone. Something down there. That water thing as well could be something, perhaps. That is poopy. Is that water? It is water. Okay, so you could actually drop there if you like. Interesting, I see a zombie. I guess we are getting towards the water then. I believe we might have some custom other stuff here, or maybe everything is cobblestone. Looks like stone. What if you can go below this? Maybe it goes even deeper, deeper. I don't really see anything, except this zombie that we just saw. to reach that out. Oops. Get up from the water there. Let's see, oh, there it is. Okay. Let's hope it's not toxic. Nope. Nice. So I don't know what we awaits us here. It is very dark though. There's trees here? Trees here, okay. And creeper. Hello! Hello! What was that? I thought I saw something in the distance. Nope, nope, nope. I just realized something. Wait, the world ends there. Wait, so what if mobs will always spawn here, right? Wait, there's... there would be another? Oh, it's lava. Oh. What is that? So maybe Enderman spawn here. Maybe that's a high Enderman spawn right here. A lot of creepers, though. I'm not sure how much I like that the world is ending there. It could be the same problem as we had in the nether. I am dying from something. There's nothing here. What? What are we dying from? Wait, does the dark hurt you? Oh, wait, it does? I think it does. Because we took damage, but there was nothing there. What is that? That's a zombie. Yep, we're taking damage, we're taking damage. There's nothing attacking us. Ah, no. Okay. I have no clue what's 
what what is in there though, but we do take damage from nothing. First I was thinking about maybe it was a skeleton. But we didn't get shot, we just took damage. But it was a lot of cobblestone in the void or not void, but the ender the deep depths or whatever the volume was called again. Um so I guess cobblestone is the decoration block for that place, maybe. Different types of cobblestone. We could do that, I guess. Let's uh, fix this. There. Oops. No, no, no. Then we right click on this. Now we can make another. Maybe two, even. Yep. Or three. Ooh. Let's see if what if we speed it up again now. Even more. The best thing would be if you just did it on the entire farm. But I think when we I wanna see what happens if we do it on the entire thing. Will we die if we drop now? No, oh, but that was close. Um I think we're really close to actually make it instant. And if it becomes instant, that would be hilarious. Then we don't need to think about it at all, it could just be there. But I think what I will do is just to spread it out and just make it as many as possible. Speed it up because this, uh, like what I've done, like I've been sitting here waiting for this to grow. And like ex I even extended it because I thought it was pretty slow, right? So I think what we need to do is just make it go on all of it. Since we can't get those uh, clicking things yet, we gotta do what we can do with it, I suppose, for now. Um, not sure where we get that void stuff from. It feels like that could be a planet. Not sure what planet, though. Uh, we can check that. Maybe. So it's called Void. That was an interesting timing. Um, it doesn't really tell me much though, if we just click on something. Planet, amount of moons, orbit time. Day length, 10 hours. Okay. But it doesn't tell us what it contains though. What are these planets? It says unknown on everything. So these could be something as well. What? Oh. Interesting. So I guess the first planets we might want to swing to is like these close ones, maybe Mars. Neptune would be cool to go to. Build. Hmm. First, before we, we wander out here, we need a spaceship. I don't think the spaceship will be that hard to get, but I think the thing that, will, that would be the most work with would be the space uh, suit. And you also need like a sort of like a station or like a base you can make on a planet. Um, haven't really looked into much about it, but I know it because I've seen like similar mods to it and I assume they have the same system there. Like you need to make like sort of like a station kind of thing on planets to uh, get air and like don't have to use the suit all the time and so on. Like a little space station. All right, so before we end the episode, we're gonna open three lucky blocks and uh, thanks to we're gonna open them right now, so let's do this. Oh, pretty. <laughs> what is this? Arrow? Oh. Oh, wow. It has like one usage though. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's open another one. What? Okay, that one just went kaboom. Oh, it's 
Sparta, it says. Ooh, full iron gear and sword. Awesome. Well, that was funny. I don't know what's up with that little explosion thing. Nothing else seemed to happen. But, um, oh well. Alright, my friends, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, feel free to hit the sub. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a nice one.